an often overlooked component of lifting weights is the stuff you do prior to lifting a heavy barbell, your warm-up. If we look at the current body of literature, we see three main benefits of using an effective warm-up routine before lifting weights. Your performance improves, you have enhanced mobility before training, and there's a reduction in injury risk. Now, I want to emphasize that a warm-up fundamentally should be short and to the point. I'm sure you've seen warm-up routines online that make you spend 20 plus minutes on all types of stretches and cardio exercises. This is not realistic for most people. The main goal of a warm-up is to prepare you to lift heavy weights, not to fatigue you. So in this video, I will show you how you can warm up before lifting weights without spending too much time. In sports sciences, a warm-up is typically classified into three different categories. The general warm-up, dynamic warm-up, and the sports-specific warm-up, which are basically your warm-up sets. I'll go over these categories one by one and then go into how you can incorporate these categories into your warm-up routine in a time-efficient way. So first, we have the general warm-up. Once you step into the gym, your body temperature is generally still low. One of the first things we should seek to do when it comes to warming up is increasing this body temperature. A higher body temperature results in increased muscle blood flow. This increases the oxygen availability and nutrient delivery to muscles, which basically helps your muscles generate more energy and perform better. The most efficient way to increase your body temperature is via aerobic exercise. There's no need to complicate this. Something as simple as going for a short run on the treadmill or cycling at a moderate intensity is effective. Keep this phase as short as needed for you to perceive a difference in your body temperature and mental readiness to train. Typically, around 3-5 to five minutes of aerobic exercise will be enough. If you walk or cycle to the gym, you can also consider skipping this part of your warm-up completely. On your way to the gym, you can increase your body temperature and then no additional aerobic exercise is needed. After the general warm-up, it's useful to incorporate a few minutes of relatively explosive dynamic stretching. Dynamic stretches are stretches that involve movement. Think about stretches like arm swings and leg kicks. Dynamic stretches are particularly useful for strength training because they help improve your mobility without negatively influencing performance. The opposite applies to static stretching. A multitude of studies show static stretching before training negatively influences strength performance. The reason dynamic stretches have no negative effect on your performance is because they're quite specific to the type of exercises that you'll be doing in your training after the warm-up. During a dynamic stretch, you go through the motions explosively, similar to the way you produce force during strength training. Static stretches have more of a relaxing effect on a muscle. After static stretching, the elastic energy of a muscle decreases and its stretch reflex is compromised. Now, this is not to say you can't do any static stretches. Research shows that if your static stretches are shorter than 30 seconds, performance is minimally affected. Also, if you wait 10 minutes after a static stretch, your strength performance recovers for the most part again. So if you feel the need to do static stretching, you can still incorporate it as long as you keep it short. But preferably, I would just incorporate 2-3 to three dynamic stretches in your warm-up. If you train your upper body, you can incorporate something like shoulder slaps, arm swings and shoulder wall slides. For the lower body, leg swings to the side, forward leg kicks and deep side lunges are great options. Perform each dynamic stretch for one set per side for about 15 to 20 seconds. Depending on what your weak areas are, you can decide to do different dynamic stretches before training. For instance, if you have shoulder issues, including some external rotation work could help. If you have stiff ankles during squats, doing dynamic calf stretches is also a good option. Overall, if you do 2-3 dynamic stretches, this should only take you 1-3 to three minutes in total. Including the general warm-up, so far you've spent about 5 minutes on your warm-up routine. And now it's time to look into doing actual warm-up sets for the first exercise in your training. Basically, have about 2 sets in which you gradually build up to your working weight. This allows you to practice the form of the exercise you're about to train and increases your mental readiness. I suggest only warming up on your first or first two exercises in your training, unless you feel like you really need a warm up on some other exercises. 
usually warming up on just the first exercise or maybe the second at most will be enough for you to be warmed up. As a practical example, let's take my overhead press. I start with 65 pounds for my first warm-up set for about 6 reps. On the second warm-up set, I use 100 pounds for 4 reps. And then I'm ready to perform 135 pounds for 6 reps on my first working set. If on a certain exercise you go quite heavy and feel like you need more than 2 warm-up sets, that's possible too, you can push the warm-up sets to 3 if needed. On deadlifts or squats, it's sometimes wise to have 3 warm-up sets to have an extra step before doing a very heavy set. Now that we've discussed all the components of the warm-up, let's summarize and see how you can put all warm-up phases into practice. So unless you cycle or walk to the gym, it's a good idea to do 3 to 5 minutes of moderate intensity cardio. After this, perform about 3 dynamic stretches to prepare the muscle groups you're about to train. And lastly, perform 2-3 to three warm up sets before doing your first working set. This is done to gradually build up to your working weight. All these phases taken together will take you about 6-10 to 10 minutes, which I think is very reasonable. If for any reason you are crunched on time, you can also consider skipping the general warm up at the start and doing your dynamic warm ups in a cardiovascular fashion. So for example, doing dynamic stretches like jump lunges and mountain climbers after each other will also increase your body temperature just like running or cycling would. So if needed, you can save a few minutes by doing aerobic based dynamic stretching. And that's all for this video. I hope this gives you a practical example of how you can warm up efficiently before your training. If you found this video helpful, then leave me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And I hope to see you in the next video.